two customers purchase the same kind of bread and eggs at a store. The first customer paid $12.45 for one loaf of bread and two dozen eggs. The second customer paid $19.42 for four loaves of bread and one dozen eggs. What is the cost in dollars of one dozen of eggs? Okay, so we can model this with a system of equations. So the first customer paid $12.45 total for one loaf of bread. We'll say that's L. And for two dozen eggs, we'll just say that's E. So he bought one loaf of bread and two dozen eggs. And the cost of that added together equals 12.45. Here L is the cost of bread or one loaf of bread, and E is the cost of a dozen eggs. So when you multiply the quantity with the price, you get the price, uh, the total cost. And when you add the co total cost of the bread and the eggs together, you get 12.5, which is the total amount paid. The second customer paid $19.42 total for four loaves of bread, so 4L and one dozen eggs, so one E. So this, now we have two equations and two unknowns, so we can solve by using substitution. So from the second equation, what I'm going to do is move the 4L to the other side by subtracting it from both sides so that we can isolate for E. And when we do that, we get 19.42 minus 4L. On the left and on the right, these two cancel out. So we're just left with 1E. So now we have an equation that gives us the value of E. And we can plug that into equation 1. So we're going to plug this into equation 1, this value of E. So 12.45 equals 1L plus 2E. But we know that E is actually equal to this. So 2 times 19.42 minus 4L. Okay, so let's simplify this. The left-hand side stays the same. We have an L and then 2 times 19.42. is equal to 38.84 and negative 8L. So let's combine the like terms. We get 12.45 equals negative 7L plus 38.84. Then we can isolate L by subtracting 38.84 from both sides. So we'll just be left with, on the left hand side, will be 12.45 minus 38.84. We'll have negative 26.39 equals negative 7L. And we can divide both sides by negative 7. So this quantity here divided by negative, or divided by 7 is negative 3.77. But since it's two negatives, the negatives cancel out and we're left with a positive. And that's equal to L. Now we have to be careful because this is the price of a loaf of bread which is answer choice A, but the question asks for the cost of a dozen eggs. So, but now that we know the value of L, we can plug that into this equation we got, remember, here, where we know we can write the price of eggs in terms of L. So 19.42 minus 4, I'll separate these, minus 4, times 3.77 equals E, the price of a dozen eggs. So this is just equal to 
19.42 minus 4 times 3.77, which is just equal to 4.34. So the price of a dozen eggs is 4.34, which is answer choice D.